The final two round-robin matches wrap up the John McEnroe group, and by the end of play, two men from three will be assured of their places in the semi-finals. Topping this group will result in a match against Milos Raonic, whilst finishing second, we'll see a date with Novak Djokovic at the O2. For all of Andy Murray's hard work on day four to beat Kei Nishikori and keep his winning run going, the new world number one could still be knocked out with a straight sets loss to Stan Wawrinka. Anything but a win for the Swiss number one would mean a flight home in the morning. And it was an uphill struggle for Vavrinka in the opener, a break down to the world number one and on the cusp of going a set down. This is uh, the new and improved version of Andy Murray this season. The third seed kept hope alive on serve though, to ask the question of Murray. Oh, what a lovely shot that was. The top seed didn't blink. Murray takes the opening set and in doing so, he qualifies for the knockout stages. Vavrinka quickly found the second set running away from him as well and with it, any hopes of a fourth semi-final at the O2. Awesome tennis. Soon after, the top seed had clinched top spot in the group to avoid Novak Djokovic in the semis. An outstanding performance. It's Murray who tops the group and moves safely through to the knockout stages on Saturday. The level in the first set was high from both of us. I think, you know, Stan was, was really going for his shots and um, made it really tough for me uh, at the beginning. Um, but I started to, you know, find my, my rhythm as the set went on. I served well and, um, yeah, it was the best performance of the week so far for me. Contrasting fortunes in the first doubles match of the day, a 100% record for Henry Continen and John Piers sees them top the Fleming McEnroe group, while Pierre Hugues Herbert and Nicolas Mahou end London with no wins from three and relinquish top spot to Jamie Murray and Bruno Suarez in the process. The Finnish Australian team taking the spoils on a match tiebreak. Andy Murray's win meant that the John McEnroe group was done and dusted in terms of final positions. Kei Nishikori would go through in second place, but the Japanese number one would still be looking for a win against Marin Cilic to boost his chances of finishing the season as world number three. And it didn't take Nishikori long to get a foothold in this match, and once ahead, the fifth seed upped his level. Oh, that is sensational. Could not have measured this any better. But a set down and staring at the brink of a sixth loss from six at the O2, Cilic was in no mood for that great a dent to his pride. Oh, he's burnt him. Wonderful shot, great vision. With the set scores now level and a break up in the decider, that attitude remained for the Croat. Oh, once again, exquisite. Vision from Cilic. A real turnaround for the seventh seed to register his second win over Nishikori in a month. Game, match, Delight team. for Cilic. And of course, Two disappointment six, six, for Nishikori, but three, six, six, two, he will six, still three. make it through to the knockout stages on Saturday. So despite winning only one match, Nishikori advanced to the semi-finals to play a rampant Novak Djokovic. A first win at the O2, not enough for Marin Cilic, but Andy Murray was very much king of group John McEnroe. Raven Klaassen and Rajiv Ram took the last semi-final berth in the doubles competition. In a straight knockout match in group Fleming McEnroe, the South African-American pairing sent Mark Lopez and Feliciano Lopez packing 6-3, 7-6. The semi final lineup is decided. Both Kei Nishikori and Milos Raonic will be looking to cause upsets as they take on the two men looking to finish the year in top spot Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray. <laughs>